Good afternoon, it's Tuesday the 11th of November and this is Pint Sized. Welcome along everybody, my name's Ollie and this is another episode of Pint Sized where we drink beer and tell you things about other things. We've got a brand new beer, I'm very excited about it today. You might be able to tell what it is from yesterday's episode and the hair. The beer today, as I promised yesterday, is Iron Maiden Trooper. The lead vocalist of the heavy metal band Iron Maiden had a major part to play in brewing this beer for Robinson's Brewery in Cheshire in... Where the hell is Cheshire? Just damn fine cheese. I know that. It's got a fantastic label, as I'm sure you'll agree there. There's quite an interesting story behind it as well, which is the reason it's called Trooper. Back to where the Iron Maiden song, The Trooper, got its inspiration, which is the Charge of the Light Brigade. You may know it because of a poem, but it was actually a real event, the Battle of Balaclava in 1854. It was a bit of a massive cock-up, really. The British cavalry was actually sent into a very heavy, well-fortified group of Russian artillery that had no intention of retreating whatsoever. Anyway, that's really depressing, so let's get on with this beer. I'm promised a lemony back note. I've poured that very badly, so I've moved it off camera. Quite a lot of head going on there. We've been promised multi flavors, citric notes, three of my favorite hops are used in this Bobek, Goldings, and Cascade. Cascade in particular is one of my favorite. A bit poncy for Iron Maiden, what? Chin chin. I think I have some on my nose. Without any further ado, we're not afraid to shoot strangers with our fear of the dark. Let's run to the hills, dial the number of the beast, and enter the Sandman. Random article number one is 1970. No! The first article for today is 1975 in heavy metal music. Next random article. David Cayado, Elliot Cheneau, Gastrothica Sustis, and Ryan McCauley. I think there's only one clear choice. We're going to go with 1975 in heavy metal music in as short amount of time as we can. Let's see, the newly formed bands in 1975. We had Angel, Iron Maiden, Jameson Raid, Lex Diamond, Lone Star, Motorhead, Ted Nugent, Quiet Riot, Rainbow, Riot, The Runways, Stars, Triumph, White Spirit and White Wolf. Let's talk about Iron Maiden once more. This weird thing on every album they do, his name's Eddie or Eddie the Head. Make me feel ill. The name Eddie the Head for this thing that features on every album that Iron Maiden produce comes from the initial papier mache mold of a head that they had behind them during their first stage shows. It was named Eddie after the apparent London pronunciation of the word head, which it was. All right, nice head. Nice head. Cheers, mate. Nice head. Thanks. Ch no, thank you. Ch thank you. Thank you. Supposedly, Bruce Dickinson, the lead singer of Iron Maiden, was expelled from school after having a piss on the headmaster's dinner. Despite this wheelie good prank, Bruce Dickinson wasn't in the original lineup, only bass member. bass member? bass member? bass hunter. Despite accusations of being a pure form of Satan in heavy metal form, Brazilian priest Marcos Matolo denies this. He's actually apparently the band's number one fan and he's covered his body in Iron Maiden tattoos. Looking good, Marcos. I think that's enough about 1970s rock metal. Rock metal? I never sounded so old in my life. Rock metal. Rock metal. Rock metal. I can see where Trooper's trying to come from with Robinson's promise of a citric floral note. And it is quite aromatic. It looks nice in the glass. It hits the nose quite nicely. And then you take it in, really pleasant aftertaste. It's a very, actually, very nice tasting beer. I'm not disappointed with the beer, but I'm disappointed in the lead singer of one of the greatest heavy metal bands of all time to have produced something with a citric back note and not a gun, sword, killer, something. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Thank you for watching YouTube. This has been Pint Sized. I've been Ollie. See you tomorrow.